Hi, I'm Billy Maddox and I'm gonna mess this up so that you don't have to. So here is my mechanical pencil collection part four. And I keep doing parts of these because I keep adding to the collection, right? I'm not just trying to like prolong this. I'm just showing you what I got this new in the collection. There's a real rhyme and reason to what I collect. If I see it, I like it, I want it, I get it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the new pencils that I got. But before I do that, I have to tell you a very short story. So my wife, knows, obviously, that I love mechanical pencils, and she found this Japanese market and took me there um, as a sort of as a surprise, and I don't know why she did that to me. She did that to me. <laughs> I've been back. I've taken a look around, but I just love looking at the stuff. And also, you know, because I think I cleared out, I, I cleared them out of all the things that I want. Now, first, I wanted to show this um, Tombow uh, monograph. And what I think is cool about this one, number one, I like this sort of off-white color. I mean, I know this doesn't, you know, it comes in many different colors, but I got it in this off-white color. I just think it's, I just think it's dope. It looks dope, right? Um, I think it looks dope but it, it, it is dope. Now, as far as Tombow is concerned, I always kind of knew them as more of an eraser company, you know? But uh, they have mechanical pencils as well. Very, very nice looking one as well. What I love about mechanical pencils, if I'm not looking for something specific that I want to use and write and work with, what I'm looking for is weird action. You know, does it have a weird eraser? Does it move in a weird way? Is the lead advance, you know, is that weird in some way? I like that. The eraser comes up in a twisty, twisty top function motion. Very super smooth, super, super smooth. And I guess, you know, Tombow being known for their erasers, uh, I guess maybe they paid special attention to their erasers, and I think there's, I think there's another one in there because there's something that moves. Oh no, that's what is that? I know what that is. What is that? Is that? Is that supposed to move? Is that supposed to move? Do you have this pencil? Is this supposed to happen? Does this move? It feels good. Is this all the weight? Is this a weight distribution thing? Because it's a piece of metal. Never mind. We're not gonna figure this out here because you can't answer me. But if someone in the comments knows if this should be moving or not, it feels like a weight. I thought it was extra erasers. Seems like it's a weight. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, uh, the advance of this lead is really cool. It doesn't work off the top here because the top here is is functioning as a twist for your for your eraser. Good size eraser too. So the function to advance is on the clip here and it and it advances just like that, which I think is pretty dope. Now the next one is a Sierra. It's called a Sierra Slip-On and it's made out of incense cedar. So very, hmm. so right off the bat, this is a wooden mechanical pencil. Now if you can see, hopefully I showed you in the top down, it does seem like it's a metal core and they've just like inserted it into a pencil, into, uh, sorry, into uh, uh, a wooden sleeve. But I thought it was cool, because if you see it like that, it just looks like a regular pencil. It's got a hex design on it. Very cool little button, um, very comfortable little button advance here. It is a, I want to say this is a two mil, uh, although I'm not sure it doesn't say it on there, but it looks like a two mil to me. Um, so it's a very chunky lead, you know? <laughs> very cool, I like that it's wood, and again, it's got like a characteristic about it that's different, you know? And it smells really nice. Well, it smells like a pencil. It smells like a wooden pencil, you know? Uh, but very, very cool, uh, very thick lead. Uh, it might be good for drawing, you know? Shading and whatnot, but I had to get it. I had to, be, I had to get it because most very thick lead 
pencils, right? The, the thick graphite. Um, they are a clutch design. Um, so these little sort of claws open up and the lead sort of freely kind of moves in there. You sort of set it to where you want it and then release the clutch and it holds onto there. Um, but not, they don't really have an advance like this. So I thought it was cool because uh, I don't have one like this, nor have I ever seen one like this. And that's why I got it. There you go. Now going back to Tombow, um, I've got a Tombow. Now I always include these because they are mechanically driven. I know it's not a pencil, but it's a mechanical eraser and a legit one. Like not one like the like the um, the other ones that like click, like click up and down, which I do like. But um, I got this one because it advances like an actual mechanical pencil, so I, I had to have it. Yeah, this is a um, uh, a Tombow mono knock, um, probably very common. Um, you know, rubber grip and whatnot. You know, nice, nice and chunky as well. I mean, the the eraser is a good good size and Tombow again, so it's gonna be a good eraser. You know what I mean? Now. The Newman that I showed in my last video, I did a, a video just about the Newman. If you want to check that out, it's over here. Well, you're going to get a better look at it here as that one was just kind of like, a, hey, look what I got for my birthday. This is awesome. And this is a little more sort of in depth. So the Newman she got me and it's, you know, circa 70s, around there, 70s, 80s. Uh, it's, it's a company that no longer exists from what I understand. And it is a beautiful, beautiful mechanical pencil. Now, it's showing signs of wear because it is quite old, but what I love is this grip part right here, if you can tell, it's sort of a really smooth, knurled part of the pencil. So it both like feels really smooth, but also provides grip, and I don't know how that works. It's also knurling in such a way where it almost looks like tiny little mosaic tiles. It is, it's a beautiful, beautiful pencil. Again, I did a full sort of uh, video on just that pencil that you're gonna get a little bit of better of a look here. Oh, and I did find out something about it. Screaming as I leave the frame. I was asking people on Reddit and a very nice uh, person told me about it. Supposedly they're a vintage co collector and they're part of the uh, Mechanical Pencil subreddit. Uh, thank you very much. And this is what they said. Newman was very popular in Japan during the 70s and 80s, tapering off in the 90s until they either vanished or, was, or were acquired. They made some pretty respectable pencils. This is one of their better models. It's comparable to a vintage Pentel. That's really cool about the fixed pipe nose cone accessory, in addition to the sliding pipe one. The, the one that I show in the video, it's, it, it sort of juts into the rest of the body, so it really protects it, but it also has just the fixed one in there as an accessory if you wanna swap them out if you don't like that function. Really cool that it has both. Anyway, they, they go on to say, that's really cool about the fixed pipe nose cone accessory in addition to the sliding pipe one. Very rare for two types to be offered with the same pencil. Someone else said, yes, the cone accessory is interesting. I have never seen it before. Uh, Box Newman for drafting 1000s are rare. So this is not only vintage, but it's also very rare. So again, if you wanna take, uh, you're gonna get a better look at it, a more detailed look at, of it in, look at it in this video, but if you wanted to do a little more, um, you can go to that video that I linked. So since I was in the mood for an eraser, uh, this was right next to it. I've always seen these Sumo Grip erasers and a lot of you know illustrators like swear by them. Um, so I've never had them. I love that they're all black and I wanted one, I think it was like a dollar or something like that. So, so I wanted to pick it up because you know, why not? <laughs> I'm there, right? And this is something you can't find, you can't find it at a regular, I can't go to Staples and find this. I'm not gonna find this kind of stuff. So anyway, and now on to what I think is my favorite find um, of, the, of the whole haul, right? And it's because I have seen this I have seen this out and about, um, you know, 
again on that subreddit i've seen people with this i've seen it online places and i've always wanted one but there's nowhere you know i can order it from japan or something like that but there's nowhere here that i could find it and it's the pentel orens black on black with the black um metal grip the pentel orens uh now it's a very simple looking pencil but it's like it's just, it just feels really nice. It feels really uh, elegant, you know? Um, and they had them in all different colors too, which is like, I, I, that shop, that shop is gonna be the death of me. I'm gonna go back there and I'm gonna spend way too much money. Um, this one, like the Newman, um, well, this one's brand new, but this one, like the Newman, also has a sliding pipe. I don't know if you'll, you'll be able to get that, but check this out. That comes out first, to, you know, so it slips in there and then the lead comes out. Wow, so the lead goes in and the pipe goes in and then that that you know That that protects it if you want to carry this in your pocket. You can that's the bad thing about some uh, Mechanical pencils. This is the most delicate part and of course this is all the weight of these are on, on This end so if you ever drop one of these it's going to land on this 100% uh, but when you have something like this that protects it it's uh, it's really nice. So you know, it sleeves in. That's the lead, and then that sleeves in. When you press it, uh, yeah, there you go. Boom. So it's really protected. Um, I've been looking for this forever, and of course, I could go online to get it. But like that, like sort of takes the fun out of it. You know, part of it is the hunt of this that you want to see it in the wild, and you want to be able to see it in different color you want to be able to look at it you know what i mean i do a lot of shopping online i'm not knocking online shopping but for like collectible things like you want to see it you know what i mean you want to see it nc2 you want to see it alive in its environment and hunt it down you know by taking aim with your wallet you know and then popping off a 20 at it. <laughs> and I love getting stationery from other countries. My last uh, pencil collection video, which I'll link here, was everything that I found in England when I went, actually in London, I picked up a few things, or yeah, a couple things. Um, and that was that was also great too, because you, you get to see stuff that you don't see. But anyway, that's my pencil collection part four. I will link um, the rest of them in the description. And maybe I'll do a little playlist of all four. Because I have four now. And I think, you know, I think it's sort of... If you wanted to come here just for the mechanical pencils, then it might be nice to just have a playlist of them. Anyway, they'll be linked down in the description part one, two, three, and four, and you can see everything that I hold near and dear. Those are all of my holdings. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Roll the thing!